Welcome back to Cold Steel 4. It's been a couple days for me, but for you, it's been no time at all. Uh, work has been annoying. Uh, as for off-camera work, I can't remember exactly what I've done, actually, because it's been a couple days. I think I grinded for some ingredients and some quartz, and I did some leveling of quartz. Yeah, that's what I did. I leveled up some of my quartz. I was going to say, Minotaurus is now the only level 5 when everything else is level 6 or 7. So I got the ones that were at level 5 up to level 6. Other than that, uh, I've been grinding items with Angela mostly, I think. Yeah, got some items here. Probably could have done some more grinding, but eh, I didn't want to do too much. Uh, before I... Uh, continue with the main story, I just realized there's actually something I do have to do. And I never went and fought that cryptid like I mentioned I was going to, so I'm going to start with that. I think I did all the trial chests and stuff already. I want... There we are. This setup right here, Elisa, Usus, Altina, Reen, it's going to be slow, but it should be relatively safe. I was gonna say, they both have access to Chrono Drive, right? Yeah, they do. Perfect. Alright, so time to fight that cryptid. That was in Osculiath Basin Depths. I think it's the last cryptid for now? Question mark? Because I got the one in the Eerie Woods, and then I got the one on Baronia Island. I can't remember exactly where I was grinding for uh, Quartz experience. I got a few levels from St. Graal Labyrinth, but even Phase 4 wasn't giving me too much experience for level uh, 5 Quartz to get them to level 6. So I actually went... I think I went back and forth in the base and depths a bit. I think I also went to a couple other areas to pick up uh, enemy descriptions I may have missed. Uh, right, be nice to me. A powerful foe. Oh boy, here we go. This one's strong. Be careful. Um, I forgot to set. <coughs> yeah, I forgot to set these guys up properly. Really? My turn. <sighs> Let's fall back, everyone. Bye bye now. Yeah, I'm gonna reload that, basically. The fact that that thing delayed me twice and then knocked unconscious the one person I needed for this uh, to work out. So I might need to make sure Eustace is immune to stunning. Also, it would help to actually have items on him. I need immunity to stun, which it doesn't look like there is... Oh, there we are, faint. That's what I was looking for. So yeah, I need to make sure he cannot be fainted. Oh, yeah, I did report one of the quests off camera that I forgot to report, and my rank went up and it got me a Grail Locket, which is amazing. I'm actually going to give that Grail Locket to my current support character. So she should be now immune to all ailments. Wow, I really didn't have anyone set up for this, and I tried running into that battle like it was nothing. <laughs> no wonder that thing was kicking my ass to start with. Let's say Muse and um, Angelica were the ones that were actually set up. Yeah, now what? with this, I should be good. At least... It might delay me with Tyrant's Howl a few times, but... Strong. Be careful! <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> my turn. Okay, so I can at least get some healing done. Thank nice. you. you have my thanks. <laughs> Let's go! Alright. Arcus, activate! 
This thing really needs to stop delaying, which is, it's just really starting to get on my nerves at this point. Good watch. I'll save you. You have my thanks. My turn. All right. Now I can finally get insight on everyone. Let's go. At some point in the future, Usus will be able to attack. There we go. Very well. Oh, finally. God damn it. The worst part is he's in he's not in a good spot. So now I gotta move him. Yes. Alright, uh also what are you weak to? You're weak to water and space. Which of course I don't have on Elisa, because why would I? Yeah. I shall go. Now I need to be able to move a little faster. It's my turn. All right. See, the annoying part about this is I'm basically going to be relying on Wayne to do most of my damage here. Now, let's go, everyone. Go. It's my turn. And basically, I'm going to be relying on Usus to keep everyone else alive. Leave it to me. And Altina and. Alicia are basically tasked with making sure they're CP and CP regen for both of these guys. As long as they can do that every single turn, then should be fine. Are you... Okay, that's definitely not something to use, so... Cross Crusade or... Cross Crusade, because it does slightly more damage. Okay, so Tyrant's Hell is not stopped by Perfect Guard, I believe? Which is kind of stupid, I'm not going to lie. Arcus, activate. And now Very she's unconscious. Well. Divine. Strengthening. All right, so I can still do a lot of damage. My turn. Thanks, you have my thanks. Very so, well. So, yeah, as long as he has Divine. the ability to do this... Let's go. We should be good. Yeah! I'm up. Rob, helix strike. My turn. All right. Now Usus can do that again, and if it uses Tyrant Towel again, we should be fine. Leave it to me. Divide. I mean, I that's lucky. It just straight up missed us, which is great. Thanks, you have my thanks. It's my turn. Roll. Yes. <laughs> Just what? keep this up. It still take a while, but leave it to me. Arcus, activate. Yeah. I'm up. I do like how he just literally missed everyone. Now. <sighs> Charging. Thanks. Yes. All right, this is actually working pretty well. Leave it to me. You can, pr if as long as you can, it's as long as it's one single enemy, and you can get off one platinum shield before every single attack, you're usually good. Although there are certain yeah. mystic arts that can go through this. So it's not absolute. Yeah. Let's go. Plus, it certainly helps that right now I've actually got. Uh, uh, Very well. Uh, insight on everyone. There we Divine. are. I can speak English. I'm tired from work. I apologize. Leave it to me. What? My turn. Thank thanks, you. you have my thanks. Just top off everyone, why not? See, that's the annoying that's part, is he can do that twice in a row sometimes. Very well. But I don't think it's worth Arcus worrying about my for turn. one reflect. It should be fine. Let's go. Ah. Okay, never mind. Yeah. 
My turn. Uh, damn you, Elisa. I gotta waste my time curing you. Charging. Ha! Thank you. It's my turn. I mean, I guess that's my own fault for not protecting her. Yeah! It's my turn. Roll. It. It's down. It's mine. Very well. Divide. Good luck. Set. My turn. What? Now. And boom. Thank you. you have my thanks. I'm up. Yeah, that missed three people. I love that. I absolutely Roar. fucking love that. Now. It's mine. Leave it to me. Divine. Yes. Yeah, the only part about that is this thing's gonna attack again. All right, I'm gonna try to break it with Altina if I can. So I'm just gonna re-up this. Now, activate. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. It's my turn. Do I want crit rate or more damage? Definitely more damage. Let's go. Leave it to me. Divine. Leave it to me. Oh, I can't link with him because obviously I can't. It's my turn. All right. I can't get a cavalry edge off before. Let's go. Away with you. Just might as well get the break points. The thing's gonna unbreak next turn and then enhance. Yes. This isn't good. Can this thing even be burned, sealed, or muted? There's a chance, but not a great chance. Oh, My it has an art. Right. I think Eustace has something that can actually impede, so I should be fine, question mark. Thank you. You have my thanks. Leave it to me. Yep. On your now. I'll assist. My turn. Now I need her to impede. That's not going to impede at all. Oh boy, please tell me I've got to reflect up. Oh, thank goodness. Now. How are we doing on... Thank nice. you. you have my go. thanks. Leave it to me. And say platinum shields back up. I mean, the only person who's not going to get it is Reen, but Leave that's fine. What? Ow! Of course. My turn. Charging! Yeah. Thanks. Let's go. Okay, why not? Wow, that didn't do anything Very at all. Well. Valmar was severely uh, nerfed. Ow! Yes. Do you mind? You're doing what? lots of damage to him. Now. Thank thanks. You. you have my thanks. It's my turn. Hmm. Yeah! It's my turn. Roar! It's down. It's mine. I don't know why it's I couldn't use turn. the burst there, but okay. Divide. Bonk. Yes. What? Just re up this again. I shall go. We don't have a perfect guard up. This is unfortunate. Let's go. Evan press. 
Now. Charging. I'm up. That did a lot of damage to him. It's my turn. Oh, uh, this is unfortunate. Now. That's annoying. Leave it to me. This is annoying. Sorry, I got this. I shall go. Oh, she used a finishing blow on a freaking cryptid. Nice. I was getting ready to use the uh, S craft again. Thank you. You showed me the strength of old class seven. That went surprisingly well. It took a while though. Prominence Nova. Interesting. What are you all about? Fire, space, and wind. Removes all positive effect, guarantee burn, and lots of nice stats. Uh, might give this to Reen? Because it's a lot of nice stats. Do I have any other... Oh yeah, I do have an Arjum gem, but... You have Mirage? No, you don't. You have Mirage. And the Arjun gem is just a better mind gem, so might as well just put that on her. Alright, that actually takes care of that. That formation has been a thing since Cold Steel 2. They nerfed it pretty heavily in Cold Steel 3, though, because Platinum Shield used to only take 40 CP, and Heavenly Gift used to regen more CP, and the... Meta was to use Emma because her Serene Grace healed 40 CP. So, you can see how something that costs 40 CP is easy to pull off when you can regen 40 CP per turn or 40 CP at once. As long as you kept uses nice and fast, Serene Blessing is now, it's still 40 CP. Alright, I do believe I don't have anything else in terms of side stuff to do got all the recipes all sorted i think i've given all the recipes to everyone as well i think i'm caught up on fishing i've beaten everyone at vantage masters we did all these quests and i'm pretty sure i've beaten everyone at palm yes i have let me just report some stuff real quick. Just in case. Alright, fair enough. Alright, back to the Merkaba we go. I can't remember who's supposed to come with me on this. I know Class 7's supposed to. And probably... Class 7 is probably supposed to, the new Class 7. Who else would be coming with? Tita and Agate, probably? So... I haven't used Tita in battle yet, so... If there is room... For... Yeah, if there... Happens to be room for Angelica, I'm bringing her because of that Master Quartz. And, you know, I don't like shafting the rest of these guys, but it's kind of important for me to have Emblem everywhere. So this is looking to be the party I'm going with. Um, so, yeah, let me just make sure to get everyone kitted out. I am going to take these off her just in case I don't have room to bring her. 
I definitely want to make sure that... Well, Altina's got the Grail Locket, so that's good. Uh, I need to give him evasion accessories, of course. So that would be... The Victory Belt and the... Kaiser Mishi or the Black Varga? Kaiser Mishi gives 40 to all stats, where this gives health and EP. And Teed is all set. She needs something for break damage, so that would be the... Rider? Oh no, that would, that's the Victory Belt. So I need something else for break damage if I can. I don't think we have anything else that does break damage. I guess I'll give her the gold coin. More health. Yeah, 24,000 health for her. Nice. Uh, and let me just make sure we're all good on quartz as well. I'll help. Uh, Yuna needs a weapon. Altina needs a weapon. No. Yeah, you need a weapon. And what about you as well? Okay. I think everyone else is good without a weapon for now. Come back soon. Yes. And I do have the new materials to justify strengthening these weapons if I really wanted to. Of the ones I'd want to, it'd probably be the crystal and the axe, because Yuna's mostly break damage and wide-ranging attacks. There's really no need to get a more powerful gun, although art attack is decent, but it's only 100. Yes. And the only thing I'm really missing for quartz is water. So if anyone's got a specialty slot that still needs to be upgraded, I can do that. For example, Tita needs fire, but I'm not sure if I should be worrying about upgrading Tita's orphans. I don't know if she's going to be a guest character or if she's legit part of Class 7 now. It's also a reason I haven't upgraded anything for Angelica's quartz, because I don't know how often I'll be able to use her, because you can typically tell when someone is a guest character when their master quartz can't be subbed out, when it's an EX version. So that's why I haven't really messed with Angelica's or Duvalis quartz, and for that matter, Agates. Because they all have the master quartz that are EX, so... Here we are. Uh, she's all set. She's all set. I suppose I should worry mostly about class 7 here. There we go. Most of Class 7 is now good Come in terms soon. of slots. And let me just make sure anything I need to be bought is bought. How can I help? Hey, this would be good if you... If you didn't... You can only buy one of each. Come back it's really anytime. annoying. How can I help? What else? Do I want to worry about trading up? Probably not. Uh, don't have that much U material to trade in. I still need the brown sugar pecky for that. And then I can trade them all in for this. Still need earth talismans for that and the impermanence proverb. But yeah, I wish I could make more than one of these because I've got enough for another one. I guess that just means when I carry over to New Game Plus, I can get a second platinum coin right away. Uh... That's another thing I was working on. I think I was trying to work on some of these bell quartz, but like the epoch bell would be nice. I think I've got, yeah, I've got two storm bells equipped, so I got one of those off camera. And I think I've got, yep, a water, an ocean bell equipped. I haven't gotten a steel bell or the impregnable shield because the, these all require a lot of stuff. Although I only really need a super rare earth crest but I don't have enough U-material for it. 
Come back anytime. Let's see how much you material I even need, because I'm... Was it Luck Crest or Earth Crest I need? I'm very bad at this. How can I help? For Impregnable Shield, I need anytime. Log Crest Super Rare. I'll help. Alright, where are you? For this, I just need one more of these, which means I need two Log Crests. Come back soon. Yes. So two of those. Come back soon. Then we I'll have help. to strengthen those two into a rare. I keep going past it. Okay, Come so once I get eight more U-Mats, I can then synthesize Impregnable Shield. How can I help? Yeah, I just don't have the... I need ten more. And the reason I want this is because it gives great stats, mostly. Also, the ability to have Lacrest Earth Pulse and Adamantite Shield in one slot is very nice, especially on someone Come who doesn't anytime. have an Earth Master Quartz. I think that's all the prep work I can really do. I'm maxed out on ingredients that aren't animal drops. I could grind for you materials, but that's not something I'm interested in, especially when I've only got about three hours before I gotta go to bed, so... And plus, it's at about 26 or so minutes into the video, which is the perfect time to make a cut. Which I'm probably going to forget to do. Alright, story will proceed. Reen, Tita, and all five members of Class 7. So no Agate, and no Angelica. I do wish I could bring one more person just for Angelica's Master Quartz. I do know I can find an Emblem Quartz on this day because I specifically look for it. I just don't know where it is. Wow, we're going back into Avon Hills to get to Leaves? And there might be Gargantua airships in the area. So we have to land in Avon Hills, go north to Milsant, and then go around. North side of Lake Gaia. For on the other side of the lake, there's probably new fish as well. Detour around Grenville, and then the, avoiding the conscription offices. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, if Ordeen shows up and starts wreaking havoc outside Grenville. Crunchy back. I can use Toa's orders. Nice. I wish I could use literally everyone's orders, but nah. Yep, the entire party is locked. Wonderful. Use this formation like I've got a choice. <laughs> We're landing a bit far away from our target this time, considering the hills are a decent bit away. At least we're right next to Melsant.
All right, let's get this done. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta be careful on the road. All right, so I think just because I haven't used Tita yet, I want to. She'd replace Yuna in this formation, swap out Altina for Muse when I need Art's damage, and then swap in Ash when I want um, slightly more versatile melee damage to Tita's. Although Tita is rather versatile. Do I have another Lost Quartz equipped on someone? I thought I did. I could have sworn I had, because I've got Prominence Nova here. And then, oh yeah, she's got Leanne's Kiss, which is Fire, Mirage, and Water. What I think I want to do for, is have that on Kirk, because it gives, um, it gives Evasion. And then she can have the Argem Gem. Which I, that might be my second Argem Gem, actually. But yeah, Art Attack for her. EP Cut, Cross Crusade, Cast. Yeah, that's good, and I think she's all set. Ocean Bell, Servo Bell, Cast, Cross Crusade, Invigorate, Flare Butterfly, Frozen Epoch. He's got Strike, Dragon Vision, Healing, HP 2, uh, 3, Hit 2, Attack 2, Defense 2. She's got Action, Impassion, Faint, HP, Shield Breaker, Defense, Impede. And if I have a slightly higher hit, I don't. Okay, so that's fine. I'll keep luck on him for now. And Aaron Pendant. And Gladiator Headband. Do I have anything else that's better for that? Because, let's see. Yeah, this prevents burn, but it also prevents blind poison. Freeze, Petrify, Faint, Sleep, Nightmare, Confuse. So she's got some, she's got some coverage in her invulnerabilities. Now, tactics-wise, Kurt's always got to be in the front row. Tita and you are there. You go in there so as to affect as many people with Arjun Heal as possible. There we go. I believe we are all set. Alright. Alright. 